So I'm going to add the real time clock sub circuit in, in my design. So, but I will not uh, real, uh, design real time clock sub circuit from the stretch. I will use um, the real time clock sub circuit from one of my previous um, projects. So, uh, for real time clock, I'm going to use um, DS1307. So, basically, DS1307 is a um, very popular and old real time clock IC. So, let's see the real time clock sub circuit. So actually you will find this um, real time clock design circuit um, in my github profile. So if you click the link of this um, video, you will find this design. Okay. So just download this from my github. You will find the real time clock sub circuit in the resources folder. Okay. Just remember this one. Okay. So this is the real time clock sub circuit. I am going to reuse this sub circuit in my current design, right? So for reusing this real time clock sub circuit in my current design, what I have to do? So I just need to import this real time clock sub circuit in my current design. That's why I'm just copying, just uh, press control C. So this will copy the location of this circuit. And I'm going to, I'm going into my new design, right? And just click on file and import. And just after that, you will see the eagle drawing. So you're importing new eagle drawing, just click on the eagle drawing and just paste the url uh, or paste the location from the uh, last time you copied right or now just paste okay so okay you can see that now you have imported su successfully the real time clock sub circuit okay but the problem with that this um, real time clock sub circuit imp imported in different pages different sheet you see so this is our main sheet and it and the real time clock sub circuit automatically created and the sheet just so we need to um, just zoom in or zoom out you need to bring this real time clock sub circuit into our main design so for doing this we have to select the group tool okay select group tool and group the whole circuit after that select move tool and right click on the move tool now you will see that uh, <coughs> now you will see the option of move group right now you can move the whole group uh, together right just click on the sheet one now you can bring your real time clock sub circuit in the main design right okay okay now it's time to connect the real time clock sub circuit with the microcontroller unit so here you can see that there are two pins for scl and sd scl and sd is the i2c communication bus protocol for real time clock okay here in the microcontroller you will also see the scl and sdl pin so scl and sdl pin the alternate pin for pc4 and pc5 okay so now my purpose is to connect this scl with the real time clock and the connect microcontroller scl with real time clock scl and uh, as a microcontroller sdo with real time clock sd pin okay for connecting i'll just select the net tool and i need to connect the scl okay just connect the SCL, but you can see that you cannot connect SCL, microcontroller SCL with the real time clock SCL. So I think there is a problem, right? Okay. Now this is a, one of the major issue of Eagle. You have to follow every time. In Eagle, there is a grid setting, right? So let's see the grid setting. Okay. Now the currently the grid setting is off. That's why you are not seeing the grid. Just turn on the grid setting, and you can see that the grid setting is uh, 0 0.1 inch. Now press OK. Now you will see the grid. See? Because you cannot connect this um, um, 80 mega 328 uh, 80 mega 328 net with the real time clock net because you can see that this net is in between two grid right so that's why you cannot connect this and uh, this wire with the SCL wire okay so this is one of the problem when you are um, designing new schematic and you are connecting or you imported uh, one of the schematic from the previous design or one of the old uh, version of eagle so to solve this problem you have to make uh, the grid setting a little bit different and that is 0 0.05 so actually if you just make your uh, grid setting 0 0.05 uh, you can use any type of old circuits and you can connect with any type of old design so i will recommend you to so all the time just make your um, uh, grid setting 0 0.05 okay just remember this one now you can connect this net with uh, now you can connect 80 mega scl net with uh, real time clock scl okay now see this is so easy now everything is connecting properly but the problem is i'm not going to connect this way because if i connect this way i cannot uh, maintain my modularity of the sub, sub circuits right but i will connect another way so the way is i will use the label tool 
okay let's delete this one i will not connect this way because i know i, I don't like connecting uh, this way because if you connect this way you cannot manage uh, maintain the modularity of your circuit right okay uh, so that's why i'm going to use label tool okay so level tool is very handy when you need to connect a lot of um wires and you, you just use you use you just use label to connect all the wires okay so now you can see that i i have selected level tool and you will see two types of label so the first label is uh, the first one is x rep of the second one is x rep on so i will select the second one so i will connect this level with scl and sda but the problem is i cannot connect level with SCL and SDA so always remember that if you want to connect level with any of the pin first you have to draw a net with those pins right okay first I have to draw a net or a few a small length of net with those pin and just I press escape pin to escape the tool and for this one okay just press escape okay now you can connect level easily okay second level but you can see that my level are small because i have selected the level size uh, 0.032 but in your case the level size is not going to be small in your case you will see the level size of uh, just let me show you uh, this way so if you if, if so in this way one level is overlapping uh, other level so if this is not this doesn't looks good okay so i will make this level size 0 0.03 0 0.32 okay i think this is good one okay so i need to connect this level with this level so i'm also connecting level here also scl and sda just connect the level properly i see so i need to move this value aside okay now i will connect sc this uh, it uh, real time clock scl with microcontroller scl so for this connecting for this reason i need name tool so because uh, why i need name tool because i need to rename this uh, label right so there you will find name tool just click on name tool and after clicking on name tool click on the uh, this label right so this level is actually so now this level this level is actually scl so click on scl just write down scl and just click on ok you will see that this level the level name is n dollar one two will connect with the scl ok now press ok now this scl or microcontroller scl is connected with the real time clock scl this is so easy ok again i have to rename this one as well just rename this sda now this net will be connected with this sda ok this is so cool right so this is the easiest way you can connect or uh, different wire with uh, one IC with another IC. By this way, you can just maintain your modularity of your circuit, right? So I think this is the good way and this is the best way. Always try to follow this way. Okay, I think uh, we are done with um, adding our real time clock circuit. So um, uh, I need to tell you another things. So please um, subscribe my channel if you like my videos because uh, this is a volunteer you work and if you like my videos and if you if you realize that you are learning something special or you're um, going to be a good engineer and just um, try to donate me on uh, um, coffee or donate or try to patch on me or try to buy me a coffee on coffee I will provide the link with this video okay thank you very much.